Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for the 1st of September 2023. Many traders will be happy to see the back of August, I would suggest. So welcome to a new month. And of course, it is Friday. So we hope you've had a good week and I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's check out the news. Of course, it was a fairly flat session in the US overnight. The Dow slightly underperformed been about half a percent down but the Nasdaq managed to eke out very small gains there was a little bit of a selling in the last 30 minutes which pushed the S&P 500 and the Russell into negative territory but only very slightly and the advances were slightly shy but pretty near the decliners so not a dramatic market move particularly in light of what's happened during the week the Nasdaq is now on the fifth straight day of gains we've got big data still to come and in terms of today's action, we are seeing US futures just above neutral in the Asian session. Asian markets are mixed so far following that cautious Wall Street lead. ASX is the underperformer uh, down around about 0.3% and looks as though it's not going to quite get its fifth day of consecutive positive days. European futures are pointing to a positive open at this stage and it looks slightly better than they were early part of the Asian session. And the VIX continues to push lower to those three and a half year lows that we last saw pre pandemic. US dollar index bounced hard up off the 200 EMA. Remember, it had a weekday previous day, so it regained most of those losses in one session. It is near neutral in Asia today. Uh, gold paused after a strong week but didn't sell off, interestingly. So it still sits near monthly highs around 1950. Copper remained in a short term range but does appear to have had a little pop in Asia above resistance on the back of Chinese PMI data, which came in slightly better than expected. And oil also edged higher overnight and continues to do so throughout today. Bitcoin appears to be retesting 26,000. We had a strong surge earlier in the week, but it seems to have given it all away yesterday. Pretty neutral in Asia so far today. So that support at around about 25,800 appears to be intact for now. Obviously, the US non-farm payrolls is the headline act today, but after a busy data week, we're getting more busyness. We've had Australian and Chinese PMI data out already. They beat expectations slightly, but both still marginally in contraction, but looking certainly better than was anticipated. We've got German, Eurozone and US PMI due out later. And on top of that, we've got some Swiss inflation data and Canadian GDP, all for the market to digest. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Paladin Energy is looking strong. You can see the breach of that 85 and a half cent resistance, which we last tested in January. Uh, now that is broken through on today's price action. And you can see this represents highs not really seen since August 2022. A move up to 93 looks on the cards, but even a test of that and up to a dollar looks very possible. In the FX world, we're keeping an eye on the Aussie yen. You can see there we came down off this 90. 4.75 on the daily chart over the last couple of days under a little bit of pressure we've got a, an important level here uh, both in terms of it being a nice round number at 94 but also the 200 ema is sitting there so a breach of that would look interesting if we look at a shorter term chart you can see it was actually tested during the session yesterday that's the low from yesterday so a breach of 94.02 would suggest some selling pressure would suggest it has to get through 94 really to see that happen but one to keep an eye on, nevertheless it has been in downtrend for most of the morning so one to watch trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now